instructions on how to register for a tournament on Flow. So you can see here that the email received from the term, tournament organizer director, uh, the name of the tournament, and here's the attached email. Step number four below this line has your password, which I'm not going to show you right now. Uh, but if you just click this button, or this link right here, it'll take you to the registration page for that tournament. Here's the tournament flyer if there is one. Scroll through that, say OK. And step number one, log in as coach. So I'm going to select the team that I am associated with and type in my password, which is case sensitive. And if it works, when I log in, we are good to go. All right, so step number two, on the left-hand side here, you can see my team registration. And I can uh, see what I already have in my roster of wrestlers. And here is my list of wrestlers that are actually going to be registered for this tournament. So I can do one of two things. I can either come over here and uh, select my wrestler. I'll select Evan here, check him, or just click the arrow and add selected. And it'll move him over here and check all the information, see if that's correct. He's a sophomore, he's in boys and he's uh, 152. His current record is, uh, we'll say, 10 and 1. I'm not sure right now. He did not qualify for state, and this section here is going to be uh, tournament specific, so you might or might not see this. You might see other questions. And when that's all correct, I'm going to add him. Thanks a little bit, and there he is. He's listed. Now, if I have rest, don't have any wrestlers in my list over here, I can come over here and click Add Wrestler. When I add wrestler, it's going to take me uh, uh, through the process of creating that wrestler. So I'll put in a zip code, uh, name, last name, grade, and when I do that, it'll give me all the other information. So let's see. John Smith, and he's a freshman. He's registering for boys, and you can see there's the rest of the questions. Now, if I want to continue to add wrestlers, I'll click Add Another, and when I add this wrestler, it'll bring me right back to the same window. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to stick with these three that I've got here. And when I've got my, my uh, wrestler list filled out, I click continue and that'll take me to the payment section and depending on how the tournament is set up this is an on-site payment method so we're just gonna uh, go through this and it's gonna give me a bill even though uh, it's paying on site so if there is uh, whatever fees are associated for the tournament you'll get right here and I'll click confirm registration takes me to the Flow Pro uh, page. If I want to purchase Flow Pro, I can go ahead and do that. I am going to say no thanks at this time. And here's my receipt. And as you can see, my total due on site is $700. I haven't made any online payments. And my total for those th for my uh, two registrations in or two divisions is $350 each. Okay. And if I'm going to register more, it'll take me back to the beginning. Or if I'm done, I can close this window.